It's taken its inspiration from Rudyard Kipling's classic tale, The Jungle Book. Now two directors in London are showing that when it comes to the wilderness, sometimes it's not quite what you'd expect. Let's take a look. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Bogey, Bagheera, Louie, Baloo! They're definitely not the bare necessities you're used to. The jungle is concrete and the outlook is bleak. While the animals and rainforest have been replaced by homeless people and refugees. The concrete jungle book follows Mowgli's life as a refugee in London. Reading the books really kind of opened mine and the rest of the company's eyes up into how dark, how dangerous, how volatile and how gruesome at points the story of Mowgli is and the story of being the feral boy in the jungle. Um, and we straight away just kind of saw a real resemblance in um, young people trying to find their way on the streets when they're homeless and when they have real difficult housing conditions. The horrors of the Grenfell Tower Block fire, which led to the death of at least 80 people, have meant that all over the world attention has focused on London. The directors say the disaster shows just how vital it is to talk about the inequality of housing in the British capital. It's actually weird because the, the play was probably more or less finished before that happened. And then after the, the tragedy of Grenfell, it did kind of open our, our eyes and ears to kind of some of the things that we have written and how much more relevant they now become. The directors worked closely with a homeless charity and spoke to refugees who had come to the UK from the Calais jungle and had since been sleeping rough on London streets. The play also addresses the dark themes of street violence and drug abuse. It's the truth. This is what happens. People get stabbed in London. It's true. Um, so it's just a way of addressing it. So it's palatable because people switch off. If you choose to take your life into your own hands and not to be a victim of your environment, and that is the message that we're sending out to our young. The performance which challenges what the real necessities in life are is being performed at the largest arts festival in the world in Edinburgh, which runs until the end of the month.